Hi, welcome to the Learn React.js in Steps series. In this video series, we are going to build a to-do application all the way from hello world to adding features like submission and creation of a new to-do, how to handle on change, how to mark it as done, how to display the count of the tasks which are done and which are not done and all those things. But first, uh, first thing first, we need to set up this application and that's exactly what we are going to see in this episode. So right now I have this uh, demo uh, directory which is empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone And in this directory, you will see a lot of episodes. And depending on when you clone it, you might see more episodes. But uh, let's go to the episode number one, EP01. So here, what we need to do is, if you look at, we have the app, readme, package or JSON. So let's just do the readme. And the readme says, all we need to do is two things, npm install and npm start. So let's do npm install. So depending on your bandwidth speed, it might take uh, a while or it might go quickly. So npm install is done. All we need to do now is npm start. So if we do npm start, then it will uh, do its thing and then it will say bundle is now valid. So now what we need to do is we need to go to a local host. Uh, AT80 and we see the hello world. So let me shorten the screen space for this one so that we can start Vim for this application here. Let me move Vim in this direction. And what we are going to do is we are going to decrease the size of the browser a little bit and increase the size of the web. Okay, so that's better. So now here, the uh, if we go and we look at main.jsx, so main is the main JSX file, which is invoked by webpack and this one in turn calls react.render app so all the main action should be happening inside app.jsx and right now it is um, it has the content hello world so let's try to change the content from hello world to hello react so if we change it and the moment after changing if we hit save you can see that it has the content is changed so this one is doing hot reloading. And some of that you can see if you, in, if you open the inspector window and if you close, if you, yeah, so now we are in console and we'll say, uh, hello react JS. And if you save it, you can see that the content has changed to hello react JS. And here you see some uh, messages like app hot update. And this is all the hot reloading mechanism, which web packs, uh, uh, takes care of. So that's a good segue to talk about uh, Webpack. So I'm going to increase the size of browser and here I can go to webpack.github.io. So it has documentation and the very beginning it will be a little bit uh, too intimidating. So you can ignore for now uh, but if you are really interested then go through the documentation and if you want to read a book on it you can read Survive.js, Webpack and React. I read this book and I learned quite um, quite a lot from this book. So this book is highly recommended. In this application, we would be using a lot of ES6. In fact, we are uh, using ES6 because if you look at here, we are using export default class app extend. Um, so this is all ES6 feature. And we are going to use Babel for transpiling the code from ES6 to ES5. 